Hello everyone, in this video I will show you some examples of the calculations for regression. And first of all, we will see the ANOVA table. So here is an example. We have one y variables with three x variables, x1, x2, and x3. Observation is 39. First, we will check the degree of freedom for the total. So the total is m minus 1, 39 minus 1 equals to 38. And next, we'll figure out the degree of freedom for regression. So the regression, it will equals to k minus 1. k equals to 4 because we have x1, x2, x3, and also the slope for the intercept. And also, this spot equals to how many x variables. So we have three x variables, so this result is three. And the residue is equals to the total minus the degree for the regression. So 38 minus three equals to 35. Next column, SS. So SST, the last column equals to SSR plus SSE. So SST will be the summation of the two rows. MSE, the next one, MSR equals to SSR divided by the degree of freedom. So it will be 105.039 divided by 3. And the MSE, the next spot, it equals to SSE divided by the degree of freedom. So equals to 1.281. The next one, F, this is the statistics. So it will equals to MSR divided by MSE. So equals to 35.013 divided by 1.281 equals to 27.333. The significant F actually is a p-value using F-test. Next, we'll calculate the R square. So R square equals to SSR divided by SST. In this ANOVA table, SSR is 105.039. The SST, the total, is 149.885. So the result is 0 0.701. So around 70% of the variation is explained by this model relatively high so this model is relatively reliable r multiple r is the square root of r square so it will be square root of 0 0.701 equals to 0 0.837 and also we can calculate the standard error which equals to the square root of mse mse in the anova table it is 1.281 so the se the standard error it will be square root of 1.281 and next one for the coefficient of the slope beta 0 beta 1 so we can calculate ourselves for the beta 0 and beta 1 only for the simple linear regression. Unfortunately, for the multiple regression, we may need to use some software like Excel to simulate the result. So here I will only show you the simple linear regression output. So here is the data. The x is the percentage of drug and y it is the reaction time. So in this data set, we only have five data and also SSXY and SSXX and the summation of Y, summation of X, you can calculate, use the calculator. And now let's estimate the beta 0, beta 1. So when we calculate ourselves, we may need to calculate the estimate for beta 1 hat which is equal to SSXY divided by SSXX. So 7 divided by 10 equals to 0 0.7. That is the slope. For the beta 0, we can use the formula, which is the summation of Y divided by N and minus beta 1 hat 
times the summation of x divided by n, and you can calculate the result is negative 0 0.1. So the equation that is y will equals to negative 0 0.1 plus 0 0.7 times x. So this is an increase relationship because the slope 0 0.7 is positive. Using this one, we can also uh, fill out the ANOVA table for this simple linear uh, regression ANOVA table. So first, total, it will be 4, the degree of freedom, because sample size, the observation number is 5. So 5 minus 1 equals to 4. And the degree of freedom for regression is 1, because we only have 1x and the residue will be total minus the degree of freedom for regression 4. And SST, it will equal to the summation of SSR plus SSE, so it will be 6. And MS, MSR 4.9 divided by degree of freedom is 1, so it's 4.9. And MSE will equal to SSE divided by the degree of freedom. So 1.1 divided by 3 equals to 0 0.367. And lastly, for the F test statistic, it will equal to MSR divided by MSE. We can also calculate the R square, SSR divided by SST. So around 80%. Uh, of the variation is explained by this simple linear regression model. And multiple r, it will be square root of r square, so equals to 0 0.904, which means the relationship between x and y is very strong. Using this model, we can predict the value of y using any number of x. So now let's give the x value equals to 4. So you can put x equals to 4 in the equation so that you can predict the value of y will equals to 2.7. For the predicted y value, we can also calculate the confidence interval for it and also the predicted interval for it. So the confidence interval, let's say 95% confidence interval for the mean reaction time for the y given x equals to 4. So using the formula, the y hat is 2.7 because you input x equals to 4 in the equation, you can estimate the y value. t is a t-score. And note that the degree of freedom for the simple regression, the degree of freedom is n minus 2. So n is 5. We have 5 observations minus 2. So the degree of freedom is 3. You need to look at the t table, the degree of freedom 3. And s is the square root of MSE, which you can see from the ANOVA table. And the result is 1.6 to 3.8. Also, you can calculate the predicted interval for the mean y value. And the only difference between the confidence interval and predicted interval is that the predicted interval, you just plus 1 inside of the square root. And also the degree of freedom for the t-score is n minus 2. So the result is 0 0.5 to 4.9. And also we can calculate the confidence interval for the slope for beta 1. So beta 1, the slope the, under the coefficient is 0 0.7 and plus minus a t-score times the standard error which is in under the standard error output. And the t-score, the degree of freedom, again is m minus 2. So this is what we did ourselves using the calculations for the regression. Here is the 
calculations from Excel, so you can compare your own calculations with the Excel result. So this is exactly the same as calculate in the example what we use formulas. So that is how Excel calculate for us all the numbers. And also for the confidence interval for the slope beta i in multiple regression, we can also use this formula to calculate the confidence interval, where beta hat is the output result plus minus a t-score. So note that the t-score degree of freedom will be m minus k. k is the number of parameters, also including all the betas, including the intercept. And s is the output standard error. So let me show you an example. So here is the output from a multiple regression. So note that k equals to 4 because we have intercept x1, x2, x3. So 4 beta 0, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3. So 4 numbers. So k equals to 4. So using this formula, the degree of freedom is m minus k n is 39, k is 4. So the degree of freedom, you need to look at 35. So in our t-table, we don't have the row 35. So you can either use 30 or row 40 instead. And beta 1, so for example, beta 1 confidence interval. And beta 1 hat is under the coefficient. And s is under the standard error, the column 19.792. So compared to the Excel output, it's very close with our calculations. And also, if we calculate the slope beta 3 for the variable x3, we can also use the beta 3 plus minus a t-score times the corresponding standard error. And note that the degree of freedom is m minus k. k here is 4 because we have intercept x1, x2, x3. So we have 4 betas. And the degree of freedom is 35. So note that the result using this formula is very close to the Excel output result, which is in yellow. So that's all for this video.